There we go, go ahead, there we go. Hear me, hear me. <laughs> and so begins another edition of Freeze Talk. Yay! Yay. What up, everybody? What's up? I'm your host, Freeze Love, comedian. And this is co-host Linda Hamblin Didden, writer friend from way back way when. Back. So what way up? Back. Right on. And right we on. also have Mr. Race Denton. On Back the yonder, camera number, the laugh. On the A camera. Yes. And we have Dominique Brown on the B camera. Yes. He is from Brown. He's back there. How are we looking? Oh, it's good. It's good. Uh, looking great. Right, right. Everybody's looking, looking great. Good. We uh, are We are good to go. Good, good to, go. to go. Thank you guys for checking us out again. Yeah. And we story. have big news. Do like, we? we do. We what? are like over the thousand mark <laughs> on subscriptions. Yes. Shout That's out. Big news. Thank yes. you, people. Yes, Yay. Thank you, guys. We got a thousand. More thousand More plus, yeah, thousand plus, and yeah. we're growing. Is it's solely because of y'all, yeah, because you guys are telling friends and retweeting for us and posting for us. Man, thank you, thank. You. Hey, is he Brooklyn? Where is my man? This dude here every single day. This homie, <laughs> yo, he he retweets and posts it like he's got it on some awesome I Z Z Y B K. That's I, right I know it says Izzy Brooklyn. That's mm -hmm. what it's saying. Mm -hmm. Awesome Izzy Brooklyn. Izzy Brooklyn. Yes, he's Brooklyn, y'all. <laughs> he goes there. He be tweeting about corner stores, all of that. I love Brooklyn. People, yes, man. well, I'm that's where you, I was born. So that's right my on. wife from Brooklyn. Okay. You from Brooklyn? Right. Yeah. Yo, Brooklyn yeah. is a um, Brooklyn is the planet. When most devs say Brooklyn, the planet, yo, <laughs> it is a planet. It's right. its own entity. Yeah. And true. I mean, I've been. You don't have to say Brooklyn, New York. You don't. No. And Brooklyn is the one place you will find. I don't care where you go on this planet, you're bound to meet somebody from Brooklyn. Yes, absolutely. I don't care where you go. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn motherfuckers get out and about. <laughs> that Brooklyn bullshit, they be on it too. Yeah, they be on it. Yo, right? man. My <laughs> wife is a Brooklynite. Her mom and pops is Brooklynite. I love They're Sunday. Brooklyn people. <laughs> Brooklyn is. And also Harlem people. Yeah. They're distinctive. I didn't know. Well, now, you know, I'm from L.A. Anybody with one leg, one pant leg pulled up, that was New York to <laughs> that would me. Be right. Yo, okay. money, yo, yo, money. I was like. <laughs> what was the biggest, like, when you moved to New York, what was, like, the biggest culture shock or, like, mind fuck for you? Um, I think it's hard to explain. I, I think when I really first saw the city, mm -hmm. like, from when you really just, when you're in Manhattan and you see it and you go to an intersection and as far as your eye can see, uh -huh. it's straight buildings. Yeah. On any direction. Uh-huh. You know, that's that's Gotham. Uh, yes. That's that is something you can't really experience from a movie or a magazine. Mm -hmm. You you have to be there. And mm -hmm. it blows your mind. And New York is taken for granted. But there's no like north, south, east. That that's irrelevant. Mm-hmm. And you know, as being from LA. Hey, you got to know, hey, the mountains is always north, homie. <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, yes, the that's beach is to the west, <laughs> the desert is to the east, and the Mexicans is to the south. <laughs> stop. Straight stop. up. Well, actually, the Mexicans is, is throughout. <laughs> but Mexico is south. Yeah, right, right, right. If you, I guess. This <laughs> is Mexico, though, homie, just so you know. Don't be surprised. But, mm -hmm. hey, that blew my mind. Right. Just seeing Buildings and these buildings aren't new. Right. Some of these buildings, some of the builders in New York have been there since the 1600s. Wow. Yeah. It's a trip. Yeah. But Brooklyn is is was I learned New York from Brooklyn first. For, okay. That's my home borough. Mm -hmm. You know, and I love that it's distinctly different. New York right. is you know the five boroughs. You mm -hmm. know that's that's right. I'm not talking about guys up in. Nyack and yeah. you know, yo, I'm from New York too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you are, <laughs> but I'm talking about the five boroughs, right? Baby. Right, right. The, the upstate New York is a different get down. That's mm -hmm. that's like some uh, you might as well be in Pennsylvania or wherever, yeah, and nothing against it. It's its own thing, but it's too. Different. They it's wear Yankee different. hats too up yeah, there, right? Right, but the five boroughs is just I, I, I'm proud mm -hmm. that I'm able to. To look at a New Yorker and pretty much tell you what borough they're from. Oh, okay. That's the you thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's the <laughs> thing. Like, to me, like, I blended in with Brooklyn the best. Because mm -hmm. they're like, you know, Brooklyn is like not a lot of flash. Right. Like, dull colors. Like, mm -hmm. colors that blend into the concrete well. <laughs> 
A lot of browns, a lot, a lot of, of brown. grays. Okay. A lot of okay. dark navy blue, a lot of dark deep burgundy. Whatever it is, it's yeah. all dark. Okay. That's Brooklyn clothing. Right. You know, and New Harlem is just the opposite. Bright color. Yo, son, I got the I got the baby blue hat with the baby blue Jordans. I got the I got the baby blue top jacket with the pele pele level jacket, the baby blue left, you know, and then that's before noon. At noon, yo, son, I switched it up to the line green. <laughs> And this shit is always fresh out the package. Right. That's Harlem, money making Manhattan. Right, right. KRS One said the most profound shit that nobody really gives them credit for because they don't really understand it and know it. Okay. Harlem keeps on making it. Brooklyn keeps on caking it, taking it. Queens keeps on faking it. Bronx keeps creating it. All right, wow. all right. And then, and then notice he forgot the forgotten borough of Staten Island. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. Shaolin. That's that's its way. Is you forget about that. That's a borough, and it's got its own get down right, too. Right, right. Brooklyn guys, hey, they keep taking. They're known for Jack. It, you go back. I looked at a map of New York from like <clears throat> I think it was like the early 1800s. Okay. And they had like everything. It was like one of those area maps, like this that designates a uh, uh, area. Like they had mm -hmm. a little dress. For the garment district. Okay. They had um they had fish over the little docks. They had a little fish. They had um, you know, they had like a, a dollar sign over down there by the Wall, Wall Street, Street District, right? Okay. And then they had a burglar, a, a robber with a mask in a black hat and stripes on his shirt holding a gun over Brooklyn. No. Yes. Wow. <laughs> like that's where the robber was. <laughs> wow. It's, hey, Al Capone is from Brooklyn. Well, there uh, you go. That could, does explain uh, that. Yo, crazy. What's the other dude that fought the whole mafia? Because um, he wanted to make money with Nicky Barnes. Crazy Sam. Not Crazy Sam. Oh, crazy uh, um, uh, Crazy Joey Galloway. They killed okay. him at the clam and bear. This is how, this dude is fighting the mafia, all the families. Okay. Because he wants to do his own thing, his bootleg thing with Nicky Barnes. Okay. Those two are a black man and an Italian hooked up in the prison. Uh-huh. And they were moving it. And the mafia was like, hey, we want our cut. And he was like, yo, fuck you. You don't like the Moolies, remember? I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. You know, so they right. wanted to kill him for that. So he starts a war with the families. And guess where they ended up killing them? In the heart of little Italy. Wow. At Umberto's Clam House. You're fighting the mafia and you go to little Italy? <laughs> <laughs> they fuck them. I got I to gotta fucking feel, hey, hey. I want some clams I'm from Umberto. <laughs> I don't fuck out of here. Warm my ass. They got to understand that I want clams. Right. Joey, you're crazy. Yo, fuck you. <laughs> don't do it. You world up in there eating clams. Like, yeah, yeah. They're like, Joey. Like, you really? Hey, fuck you. We'll discuss this when I finish my clams. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Smash you right there. Wow. But anyway, he's yeah. from Brooklyn. He's from Red Hook. Uh huh. You know, there's a, Brooklyn's got a, a a rich history of criminals, man. Yeah, yeah. But that's crazy. It is crazy. It is crazy. But you have to understand that's capitalism. That's how it gets down. Mm -hmm. They made that area. Yeah. They made all these bad areas. They gotta have a bad area. Right. You know, yes. To make people. If feel they bad. don't have a bad area, then how can they raise the price of the area where you live? Exactly. Don't want to go. Ooh, you don't want to live by them. It only costs you five million dollars more. Yeah. <laughs> Over here, <laughs> but what? So one thing I do think is really cool is like all the comments. Like I love the love that you know people are sending. Oh, man. That's Thank great. You. So we really it do is. appreciate. I that. mean, it is because, and I and I inherit a lot of these fans and these people that watch this show. We inherit from the fifty one fifty. Hey, yeah, and they set such a standard. Mm -hmm. You know, Corey Holcomb and and Darlene Ortiz, yeah. Joe, Zoe Williams. Hell, even Chris, the old engineer, even Frank, the new engineer, and right. then the new people they got on there. Yeah. Craig Smith, uh -huh. um, my other brother, uh, the big guy. Is that Nate? Nate, Nate Jackson. There you go. You know, they, and, you know, people like, I met some cool comedians on there. Grady, I uh -huh. met him on there. Right. Corey's just that dude. He shows love to everybody. That's awesome. And he creates that atmosphere. So mm -hmm. the fans that he draw. They show love to yeah. everybody that's a part of that. Yeah. And I'm so thankful right. to be a part of that. And then other friends, too, that I have, you know, like my man um, in Trenton, New Jersey. This dude is, I've been, 
Man, I first picked him up as a fan when I was doing the uh, Charlie Murphy tours okay. on the acid trip. He mm. was looking at skits like, yo, everybody, this guy is funny. <laughs> like, North Trenton, North yeah. Trenton, New Jersey. Yeah. North Trenton, that's my homie. He's been, you know, so it's it's cool. That's one thing I, I like about social media. Exactly. Is that's the aspect I like about mm -hmm. it. Right. You know, and it's I'm happy that I was able to live in a time when none of this shit was around. Yeah. Because yeah. They, they make it look like it was so... Oh, well, now it's so much better. No, it's not really. <laughs> no. What's not the really. biggest thing you hate about social media? Just the fact that motherfuckers you don't want to see be popping up. <laughs> right. Like, motherfucker. <laughs> if it wasn't for Facebook, I wouldn't have to look at your <laughs> face again. And right. if I did, it would be cool because I'd be yeah. like, hey. Yeah. Some of these motherfuckers are like, yo, what are you... Mm-hmm. You fucking idiot. Yeah. You Which do you do you like Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram better? Or I hate them all. You hate them all. <laughs> okay. I do. Fuck them all. Uh -huh. fuck, them fuck, all. Them all. fuck them all. I, I hate them because you gotta use them. I hate anything you gotta yeah, use. Yeah. And you gotta use. It. And it's like it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's cool, but I keep that shit for business. Yeah. For me. I'm sorry. It's 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 a little personal, but not really, because mm -hmm. I'm from the old school, man. Yeah. Like, yo, I didn't even, I grew up, my pops didn't even want you to wear your name on your jacket. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. So he's out. Hey, what's up, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> How do they know my name? <laughs> you got Paul on your fucking yeah, shirt. Yeah. <laughs> How do they know my name? <laughs> I'm just from that area. You know, yeah. I'm from Run DMC days. Don't wear nobody's name on my behind, you know? <laughs> yeah, right. man. Yeah. I'm from low key. I don't like the flossing yeah. and show my business. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to share so much. Yeah, I'm they always don't know. surprised. And it, they, they, it's a different era. It's a yeah. different get down. Yeah. Because they look at me like, this motherfucker, like I'm wearing a fucking tinfoil hat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any radio. <laughs> nah, I'm just, a, I don't fuck with the internet like that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Especially today, man, these motherfuckers got enough pictures of everybody to of where they everybody. can make you doing anything. Yeah, yeah, that's like, true. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. You'll yeah. be over, you'll, the picture will be of you putting your car seat mm -hmm. in the car. Mm -hmm. But when they get done with it, you'll be putting keys of cocaine in your car. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like, right. that's, yeah. that's me, <laughs> but that ain't my baby. <laughs> that, that ain't my baby. That ain't my baby. That ain't my baby. Okay, my baby. <laughs> um, That's right. Well, here we got a picture of you saying it. Okay, my baby. <laughs> I don't even yeah. want to say it. Because it can be easily yeah. changed that way, too. They will like, do that like, shit. Yeah, They'll right. do whatever they want. <laughs> because you know what's so crazy to me? I remember that a fucking video, that shit didn't hold up in court. Yeah. A recording that was made of me without my knowledge, that didn't hold up in court. Mm hmm. When did, but you see, they mopped, they got rid of them. Yeah. And they act like they didn't, but they did. That shit is, it, you know, so it's pretty much they're going to do whatever they want to do when they want to do it. Right, right. All right, so this is our first annual <coughs> Christmas show. So, yes, yay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas was. Right, by the time everybody yeah. sees this, it'll be the day after. The day after. So, oh, so by now, your kids have already torn up the shit you got them. <laughs> right. Something's right. broke. Sounds broke. Sounds for sure. Broke. For sure. I promise you, one of them motherfucking hell of a gifts you got on that shit is broke. <laughs> it's broke. Yeah. And they probably done got their ass whooped already and on to the <laughs> rest of the festivities. I'm on to the rest of wishing yeah. for the new year to come on in. Yeah. Some of you motherfuckers are sitting there in them brand new pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> and act like you really like the motherfuckers when you know damn well that you just thinking like, man, I'm hot in the motherfucker in the <laughs> Flannels. Right, I normally be in my drawers. <laughs> yeah, I got to wear these hot motherfuckers. Same. And this thick ass room. Same. How you feeling, baby? I'm fine. <laughs> Y'all get some more egg no. <laughs> <laughs> For real, Those are, so okay. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go through some of your Christmas memories. Like, okay, it's like okay. So like, what's your what's your best oh, Christmas memory? My best Christmas memory was my oh going to going to the valley. Okay, I would go to the valley and hang with my cousin Pete Farmer, mm -hmm. Jamal Farmer, my uncle Butch, and my aunt Kathy. Every Christmas vacation, that would be. Hanging uh -huh. with those dudes. Okay. And they lived in, you know, they lived in uh in in Pacoima. 
and Pacoima, you know, that's that's the valley. That's like I'm yeah. from I'm from Altadena and I would go to my cousin's house in Pacoima. And and also in uh, another part another part of the valley, Lake View Terrace. So mm-hmm. this is like these was like these were valley cities that you would never go to. Right. As cause you know, if you're from Altadena and Pasadena, when you go somewhere, you go to LA, you going downtown, you going to you going to you're not going in to the valley. valley. Yeah. But the people in the valley, when they go someplace, they're not coming to Pasadena, right. they're going to LA too. Exactly. LA is the center. You know, we're all mm-hmm. in LA, but we go to the center. That's how yeah. it is. And everybody's grandma, they always in Compton and and you know, or Watts or yeah. South Center. Yeah. There's nobody's but then my grandparents lived in the valley. They had moved back to the valley. So Christmas would be in the valley, the San Fernando Valley from uh-huh. man, Sunland. Coima, Reseda, wow. we would be going to the malls on the mm-hmm. buses, and I would hang with my two cousins, man. And then my cousins is wild, man. Yeah, yeah. He's like, one's a mama's boy and one's a daddy's boy. Mm-hmm. And the daddy's boy is like, that's the one that'll fucking like, run through three brick walls and not <laughs> notice it. <laughs> Not notice it. Like, like, how did what the happened? Get on me. Legacy is on swole. They, they football. They played yeah. football. Uh-huh. So you know, I was. They, they were my age. They were, you know, all yeah. the other cousins. They was older or, or too younger. But that's mm-hmm. what Christmas was. Going over there and kicking it and going to my grandfather's Ross Farmer. Uh-huh. You know, dude is like, like he wanted. I guess in his life. He wanted to be a radio dude. Okay. Yeah, because he he had all the music. My family listens to music. My right. pops is a jazz. He got rest his soul. He was a jazz aficionado. Mm-hmm. Like there was nothing he did not know about jazz. And yeah, we would have to. I mean, I know shit. Like I'm in the fifth grade, <laughs> and my friends would be like, Burn it. "You hear? You be in that car? You hear?" Burn it. Dun, 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 dun. And they'd be like, turn it. I'm like, turn it, motherfucker. That's Chuck Mangione. This nigga's about to hit a high C. I'm like, what? The fuck is a high C? This part. That's Chuck Mangione, motherfucker. I would have to listen to Chuck Mangione, Chick Corea, Horace Silver. You know, so right, these right. Is, you know, right. and then my family's jazz, our farmer, that's my mm-hmm. cousin, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So my pops was like jazz. Yeah. And my grandfather, his father was blues. Okay. So, you know, you we got, listen to Wynonie nice Harris, yeah. Muddy Waters, you know, we, mm-hmm. we listen to this in my house. And my grandfather was the DJ. And this was before DJing was like he had he his, yeah he, he had all that shit right. Right? ham radios and all of, you know mm-hmm. He, mm-hmm. he was um God rest his soul Ross Farmer he owned a uh, a cleaning service mm-hmm. and he got a contract with Disney mm-hmm. back in the day so this is a black man yeah cleaning yeah. up fucking Disney and right. he, his his shit was the Disney Ranch he handled that shit okay so every year every two years he would get a brand new Winnebago or some shit like that. <laughs> and we wouldn't drive this motherfucker nowhere. <laughs> it would just the take the driver. in his house. It's, it's from that air. It's a black man. You can't tell him shit. <laughs> so right? Like, you see my was... Winnebago, right. bitch? <laughs> yeah, you ain't got that. I earned that. You know how many motherfucking ashtrays yeah. I emptied to get that? That's how Ross Farmer talked. Did talk. he hang out in it? If he didn't yeah, drive? he would hang out and sit in that motherfucker. <laughs> And switch it out every yeah, two man, years. But you're talking about right. a black man that came up during the time he came up. Right, exactly. You goddamn right. right. If you had to go through what he go through, you could sit and just look at anything you fucking wanted. <laughs> right, right. I did that shit. Yeah, right. that's you know, awesome. All the nights they was trying to catch me and hang me. <laughs> that didn't they didn't. They fuck them. And here I, I did. It. And he was, but that's Christmas. Cool. Hey, well, welcome everyone. Welcome to Christmas to the Farmer House. We are going to have a vast selection of, and a musical array of listening. Let's start with. Uh, let's see who we're going to start with. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's start with Ray Charles. Granny wasn't grinning that day. <laughs> and then he'll put that shit on. Hey, 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 Ray, what did Granny say the other day when Junior put the nana pinning in the way? 
oops, she said when she started to fall. But when she hit the floor, it wasn't oops at all. Oh, Granny wasn't grinning that day. I tell you, Granny wasn't grinning that day. Hey, she got mad real quick. She didn't like that trick. I tell you, Granny wasn't grinning that day. Hey, I say, hey, hey, Ray. What did Granny say? Down on the floor, she grabbed Junior by the collar from where she sit, knocked him clear across the floor with the backhand lip. And when he tried to get up and run at the dope, she grabbed a piece of stove wood and knocked him back to the floor. Oh, Granny wasn't grinning that day. Yo, what? so when I came with hip hop, I was like, play rapper's delight. He's like, oh, you want to hear some rap? And I said, you put that on. You was like, this yeah, only rap you want to listen to. Ray Charles, Granny Wood, and then he had uh, Louis Jordan. Um, ain't nobody here but us chickens and <laughs> signifying monkey. Right, signifying that signifying monkey. monkey. You yeah. know, and what else? Uh -huh. Salt peanuts. Salt, Salt peanuts. peanuts. Yo, uh -huh. they, my family got with it. So, <laughs> yeah, my grandfather was a DJ and he would that have the, he had the big ass mic. That, yeah. <laughs> and next to we have Duke <laughs> Ellington. And then, of course, the grand finale would be the Art Farmer and the Art Farmer Quartet. Right yeah, on. Yeah, who was his twin brother, Addison Farmer. And my, yo, man, they got a statue of my family. Art Farmer has a statue in um, <laughs> Austria. Austria. In Austria. He's in, he, 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 wow. he, yeah, he didn't play. It's like, man, fuck the U.S., I'm man. I'm paying. I'm going to Austria. Yeah. Built, he, and then he invented an instrument uh -huh. called the flumpet. The flumpet. Which is the flugelhorn and the trumpet mixed together. It's an actual fucking instrument wow. called flumpet. He created that with uh -huh. his boy in Austria. Hey, it's an official instrument. And they built a statue of him. And Dang. You know, I wish my, well, you know, my grandfather, that, that happened all after my pops had passed and my uh -huh. grandfather. But, and I Very believe cool. even after, I don't know. Anyway, but that's how everything would end was with Art Farmer. And mm -hmm. that was like, as a kid, you're like, damn. That's why you couldn't tell me I couldn't make records. Or I couldn't be an entertainer. Get the fuck out of here, man. My uncle, even though I never met the nigga, I, that's my uncle. And he's in, it's he's, in my blood. Yo, he's, if you want to see my, my family, you, there's a, a famous picture called A Day in Harlem. Yeah, yeah, I know that picture. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The top step, dead center. Is art farm. Okay. You, you got that on your wall. Uh, yeah. You look at that picture and you look at me, you'll look see at my that. family. I never, that, look at, as long yeah. as I've known you, I've never known that he was in that picture. Yeah. That's pretty that's, cool. Yeah, that's like, and I remember my pops telling me about that picture. Right. And you couldn't, you know, he was telling me, but you know, we didn't have internet. We yeah. Have, so you're you like, know, yeah. You would never uh -huh. get to see these pictures unless. Right. You might catch a poster, of, mm -hmm. you know, and that was big. You bought that poster yeah. if you came across right, that. Right, right. You know, that so. is one thing as far as history, the history that shared, it's like on the internet, that's very cool that you can really find out yeah. things that, you know, we just never would have known in general. Exactly. Yeah. It's all definitely not taught shit, in school. So, yeah. Oh, exactly. hell no. <laughs> that's, that's actually cool. Okay, so do you have a favorite Christmas movie? Oh, hell yes. Wow. I watched that shit last night. <laughs> what? Um, Scrooge. The Scrooge, the original, original? Scrooge, the original one uh -huh. that they made in the 70s. Yeah. With Ebenezer Scrooge. <laughs> That's not the original one, but My older brother yeah. Kevin took me to see that in the movies. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I was, you know, and I remember that's a, a memory I had with him. Yeah. Got rested, so. Yeah. Why do you like, <coughs> why? Why do, why do you like that? Well. Are you I, a Scrooge? Well, nah. I mean. <laughs> I'm down with the bar humbug shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'll be honest with you, because right. it's you know it, Christmas is a screw. Yeah, huh? yeah. How about that? Okay, but <laughs> but no, I'm not a screw. I, I you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. I just. I'm just not down with people being broke every fucking right. year. Right, at the end of the for year. For what? For what? For people that you love. I'm going to go broke for you. <laughs> <laughs> and when I go broke, I'm going to let you just unravel and rip apart my package so you can see why I'm broke. For you. For you. For you. For you. Because if I didn't, you wouldn't think I care about right, you. Right, right. I'm not with that bullshit. Right. Man. Don't fall for the sucker shit. But hey, you know. Right. Break open them candy canes. Let's spread them out. <laughs> Motherfucker, that's great. <laughs> but Scrooge is dope. Mm -hmm. And I was watching it. I was with. I was watching it with my wife. And she was like, yo, you saw this as a kid. <laughs> like, I was like, and she's like, this shit is boring as hell. I'm like... Yo, whatever. 
<laughs> He's in there whenever. It's still I'm my favorite it, movie. I realized this must have been my first impression of British accents in ah. yeah, you see? Uh-huh, Because uh-huh. I was a kid, I've been I've been able to hit that voice ever since a kid, it was just because uh-huh. I saw this shit. Yeah. Ebenezer Scrooge, <laughs> well, well. And he was like, Scrooge is, you, you, it's Christmas, governor. <laughs> but it's Christmas, governor. Top of the morning to you, governor. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and it's the you face know, that goes along with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah it's like, British face. Yeah. Now, you can't talk like that unless your face <laughs> automatically goes like that. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, right. that's why in the books they always got the Prince Charming so handsome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's those jeans? <laughs> I see a lot of Ichabod cranes out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's talking exactly. about them. I yeah. see a lot of crypt keepers <laughs> out here, this motherfucker. Like Blimey. <laughs> ladies gonna be handsome. Right. Well, um, ladies are obviously uh, blind. <laughs> blind as a bat, governor. <laughs> All of that shit. I like that Christmas. Yo, that's the screws. This right. motherfucker got visited from the three ghosts, the spirits of Christmas. Mm-hmm. The, the the Christmas uh, past when he, was a, old, when he was a kid. Mm-hmm. And that's when he realized that, nigga, <laughs> you, was, you was bound for fucked up. Because <laughs> you gave a fuck about, he was started, he had a broad, he had a girl that loved him. Right. You know, and she was like, yo, motherfucker, you can't, you love, you love this money more than you love me. Right. And he was like, shh, bitch. <laughs> See you. <laughs> All right, then, Toto. <laughs> On with you. Right. You're talking right. gibberish and nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly do. A shilling is worth a shilling. <laughs> and you are worth, well, I don't know, don't do we? <laughs> <laughs> are you still here? <laughs> Oh, you still here? You ought to let the door hit you with a good Lord Splitcher. <laughs> Have a good day. Oh, yes, in a bar humbug. <laughs> okay. Did this shit on Christmas. Right. She's like, I'm giving you one more chance, Ebenezer. <laughs> Let's see. Give up all my riches so that I can walk in a daisy field with you. <laughs> oh, I think not. Put that under your Christmas tree. Ta-ta. <laughs> and smoke it. <laughs> Yeah, that's when he made that choice. <laughs> right, right. Like, yeah, you put business before your your, your fucking family. Yeah. Dude, that's your broad. It's your, she gave that motherfucking ring back to that nigga, and he was like, ah, I'm glad I got it back. I didn't have to go see the, the governor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. He didn't give a fuck. Right, right. But then, when she, then he got to the window, and he realized, I might be fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> and she turned around and looked at him, and he was like, Nope. <laughs> went right back to count his money. Man. It's like, nope. Yeah, he was with that money. Then they went to Christmas present. Right, right. And Christmas present was the party. That motherfucker, he just got his ass lit up, gave him a big ass goblet filled with, what was this shit called? The milk of Christmas joy. Oh. Okay. Yeah, or Christmas, no, Christmas, it wasn't Christmas joy. It was something like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, whatever it was, it had him on tilt. That right. Was like, <laughs> he was walking around and, you know, he was, look at this. He was, uh-huh. Christmas is great, but he also saw, you know, that his worker, you know, how this thing, it was, um, he was dogging the, his worker, like, you know, it's right. seven o'clock. Right. And he has to tell Scrooge, uh, Mr. Scrooge, it is seven o'clock. Is it? Can I go? Scrooge is like, well, what do you want? He's like, uh, can I get paid for this week? You know what I'm saying? You got to yeah, ask for For your me. money, Listen, right. That's I hate that up. bitch ass yeah, shit. Yeah. Bitch, you know I've been here every day yeah, right. working with your punk ass. Right. Putting in overtime. And Pay yes, me. bitch, it's Christmas. I want to go get lit. I think I got a blunt waiting on me. <laughs> right. My fucking son, Tiny Tim, this nigga. <laughs> This nigga's out here. This nigga's waiting to meet me in the cold. You know his condition, motherfucker. <laughs> When my son's got a club foot and he's out there waiting, that's what he wanted to say. Right, but right. Because he has to keep his job, he has to contain himself. Right. It is Christmas, Governor. He's right. like, bah, humbug, Christmas. Scrooge is a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, right. And oh, Scrooge just got through counting stacks, stacks in front of stacks him. Stacks and stacks, right. Stacks. He's like, counting stacks. And he's like, he puts that shit away. And then the motherfucker, when it's time to pay him, he goes to a safe and pulls out some. Bullshit ass shillings. Yeah. And counts them. And yeah. Makes is. a big deal. Yeah. yeah. Yo, man, 
See, that's how come sometimes employers get robbed by their employees. Mm -hmm. They yeah. say, you know what, motherfucker, you, so you're just going to cake up yeah. at my expense and you don't share the wealth. At all. At all. Yeah. You, don't, you don't do that. You just fuck, fuck me, right? Mm -hmm. Work me to death and you eat lovely. Yeah. Okay, not, check not this cool. out. Let me, let me take you to the storage room and show you some packages, <laughs> some packages. that came in yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. come on, Mr. Whipple. Let's go, let's go to the back of the store right quick. I, I need your help to get this one package off this shelf before I leave today. Yeah. yeah. You said That's how that shit happens. Yeah, it goes down that way. You know, motherfucker figure, you know what? I can fucking rob you and have a great Christmas. I won't have a job again. Might go to jail. Then again... With this little meager motherfucking pay, I might go to jail anyway. Yeah, exactly. So you don't want, you know. So that, one hand the Scrooge had to see that, mm -hmm. and that's what the ghost was taking him. Mm -hmm. They took him to the ghost of Christmas Future, who was the Grim Reaper. Yeah, I'm like, right. look, man, you you're gonna die. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and it was cold bloody because he, he took him to his office. <laughs> And they had polished off this nigga's name. His name was beaming on the thing. And one dude had the debt book that Scrooge had owned. He, everybody in the city owned, it, owned his ass. Oh, God. So the dude was like, they were singing what a glorious day it was. And, and Scrooge didn't know why they were swinging, singing that. He was just joining in like, yes, yeah. what a glorious day. Yes, yes. And then they said, yeah, because you died, motherfucker. <laughs> Everyone's out here partying because your bitch dead. ass is dead. And man, he took him to the grave. He saw his grave, that motherfucker. Then his, his old business partner came in and says, well, you got to put on all these chains, motherfucker, all these chains, all these fucking problems you caused people. Mm -hmm. That was a chain for you, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You think you're hurting somebody with your bullshit ass, grimy ass, tight fist tactics? Nah, motherfucker, you just building a thick ass chain for your ass to wear yeah. here in hell. And they put that chain, he was like, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, no, 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 no. They was wrapping his ass up. The chains, they had some big ass chains. It was under the chain. He was like, oh, Lord. Man. Yeah. This motherfucker woke up and James was the blankets of his of his bed wrapped around his ass. He's like, I'm still alive. Oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> see him. Oh, he was so happy. Yeah. Motherfucker had some shillings. That nigga opened up the door. This is boy. You there? Do <laughs> some money. Go get the biggest goose you can find and take that shit to Tiny Tim's house. <laughs> yeah. I remember that part. Yeah. Did, yeah. He made his shit right. So yeah. I like that movie. I like also Christmas Story. That's a dope movie too. Mm -hmm. Christmas Story, yeah. the whole the tongue on the. Yeah. Do you know how many kids like actually do that every I year? I did that shit. Did you? Before I ever saw that movie, I wouldn't oh, have done okay, that shit. But okay. I did that shit yeah. with the fucking ice tray. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, actually, the yeah, I did, yeah. yeah, I've done that then. See, these okay. kids don't know. They're like, what is an ice tray? What the fuck? <laughs> but do you think you would do it yeah. on a pole outside? Nah, fuck. Just, <laughs> like that you know how like, many bums them probably leaned on that pole? <laughs> right, right. I've seen them. Yeah. You've seen them. Yeah, I've seen some bum female bums doing pole dances on these street poles. Like you, That's not even a good video. It's not a good it's video. I was like, no. You're like, wow. No. So this chick was a stripper and started using math. <laughs> and here she is. <laughs> Still got the skill, but that's it. Oh, goodness. A fuck a garbage upside down. Yo, uh -huh. people, their meth will fuck, man. Oh, yeah. That's no. why, yo, man, people are, a lot of mentally ill people out there, a lot of drug drug addicted, which is a form of mental mm -hmm. Hey, but you, what are you going to do? You, some of this shit you can, you just, you know, that's like, also, not to cut anyone off. No, But you I got to give a special talking. shout out to our man, <laughs> our man. Richard Dixon. Yes, yes, yes absolutely. He's doing Mr. Great. Dixon, I He's love doing it. Great, his therapy's going great. great. He called me, he says, Hey Paul, I've been I've been eating them kiwis and All right. drinking my water. All right, yeah. Yo, that's my man. But you know, I, I give I got always a special place in my heart for Richard Dixon. Because mm -hmm. that brother is is man, that dude is a king. And I met him at this show I did in Compton. Uh -huh. for the a show for the homeless. Okay. And this is a man that's a Compton pillar because he's always in the community he knows he mm -hmm. knew dr dre 
He knew Easy. He knew all of those dudes. Toddy mm -hmm. T in the studio working with them before. Right. Before they even had demos. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's this is a, a Comptonite that has seen it all. Mm -hmm. Also, DL DL Hughley. Okay. Yeah, he's yeah. DL Hughley's uh, folks too. He said he knew DL uh, when DL was growing up. Right. He said, hey, he said I knew DL was a, a funny kid. Mm -hmm. He said, but I used to have DL crying. <laughs> like, I used to have him telling me. So, Richard Dixon, that's my dude. Uh -huh. So, and Richard Dixon is the kind of guy, man, that he just he sets an example. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he's one of those type of guys when they be like. He'll see a motherfucker hungry. He won't say shit to him. He'll just go in the fucking store and order up an extra meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, won't even, won't even yeah. say nothing. Just walk out and then give it to him. Yeah. Hey, here you go. Mm -hmm. Just say, hey, look, give me the cheeseburger with the french fries and a cocoa. And make, do it twice. Mm -hmm. And he'll take that and he'll go give it. That's cool. He, and it's, it's uh, anonymous. It's, it's not yeah. a big deal. He's just like, yo, people are hungry. We got to. If you can't feed somebody, you should feed somebody. Feed somebody. Mm. Right. And I mean, that, that comes down to to just basic shit mm -hmm. that we Con overlook. We think we're above yeah. or we think we don't want to get involved with. And, I, and I'm guilty as well. I'm just fortunate to meet a cat like Richard right. Dixon. Right. And I was with my homie Jeff Redford. You know, right. I've known for years. And me and Jeff, we met him at the same time and, and we've stayed friends. And, mm -hmm. you know, he, he, he really is a, a man of his word. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like it's at my age at fifty three, it's some it's cool, you know, mm -hmm. to say, Man, this is it, it is worth it. Right. Th this code that's out here, this uh this doing what you know you're supposed to do mm -hmm. thing that's out here is right. worth it by abiding by that because he shows it. Mm -hmm. He's got his family around him, he's got loved ones around him, so yeah. many people call him pops and he's that's just cool. a, a person that, that just helps to help. Yeah. So yeah, I, I will say that is always the better route. Yeah. And that kindness spreads, that good spreads, it, that it, wisdom spreads. It, it really does yeah. because, I mean, if you really just stop, you got to look at the, the homeless situation. 44% of the homeless are African Americans. Mm -hmm. That's horrific. Not African, not, not, not Jamaican Americans. Uh huh. Yeah. Not African. Wow. African Americans, mm -hmm. not Spanish African Americans, African Americans. I'm talking about black people that are born and raised in this country. Yeah. 44% of that homeless, that whole homeless thing, 44% mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. us, me and you, our people, right. our people. Our people. And yo, man. And then mental illness also plays into, uh, you know, another part of that percentage too. I mean, because. Absolutely. I mean, I have to, you know, I don't know the exact number right. are mentally ill, but let me tell you, it's not a joke. Yeah. And it's not, not a joke. Accident. It's yeah. not an accident. Mm -hmm. But as you could blame outside sources. Mm -hmm. We know why it's this way. We know that. But this is what we also know. That's us. Yeah. This is, we are our responsibility. We're mm -hmm. supposed to be our brother's, brother's keeper. keeper. We're supposed mm -hmm. to. You know, yeah. everybody else gets down like that. Yeah, yeah. And we know why we don't get down like that because mm -hmm. they put a hammer on it. They don't want to see that go down. They don't right. want no Black Wall Street. Right. You know why they don't want it is pure ignorance. It's pure ignorance. And pure fear. ignorance. Yeah, and fear of is ignorance. It's stupidity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want me to shine, baby. Mm -hmm. That's what the, that's what y'all gotta understand. You want this Black community to shine. You want us to shine. We do shine. Just, just enjoy it. Yeah, it is what it is, just enjoy man. It. We, we that. Yeah, <laughs> we are Look, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. Don't, don't be mad. The Tiger Woods dominates golf. <laughs> just go, motherfucking. Just, just learn how to play golf from Tiger Woods, man. <laughs> yeah, take that. Be as strict as Tiger Woods' parents was with him with golf. Mm -hmm. That poor bastard. He probably didn't get to do <laughs> shit else. No, we we saw the the, Daddy, I, I, the I, I, fallout play from that football later. Said, Shut the fuck up, Tiger. <laughs> Get your goddamn club. <laughs> what I tell you, if I see your ass without a club, what happens? <laughs> <laughs> you hear that golf stroke? <laughs> <laughs> no, he the tiger with it. Come, shut up, man. <laughs> and after I whoop your ass, we're going to work on motherfucking <laughs> enunciation. <laughs>
Keep it. Get the fuck out of this motherfucking <laughs> trap. And you getting us out, Tiger? <laughs> oh, God. Let me see the eye of the Tiger. Let me see the eye of the Tiger. <laughs> Motherfucker, if I see your ass without a, a, a tee, a golf ball, <laughs> you better have some item of golf with your little ass at all times. <laughs> Motherfucker, get home from school. I have my whole slapped in books out of them goddamn books. Now, you don't have no need for books. You're going to be a golf pro, Tiger. Right? Right. He's <laughs> right. Oh, mama, can he at least eat? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Don't nobody want no loop here. He's so stupid. Don't want chicken and shit. <laughs> Boy, I got motherfuckers <laughs> golf to play. Go to Tiger. Daddy, daddy. <laughs> Motherfucker, go. Tea time. Boy, tea time, right? What time is tea time? Every time. <laughs> When the people ask you, is you black, what you going to tell them? No! <laughs> I'm right, you got to go. They going to have no motherfucking way to hold you back, boy. You ain't even going to be black. They ain't even going to know you black. To hold you said, back. No. Say it. They ain't going to know I'm black. To hold you back. <laughs> That's going to be a set. That shit was that boy was tough, that shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Who knew Tiger went through all that? He went through all that shit. <laughs> Oh no! Oh so that's my God! You wanna, if you willing to go like that and be like that, then yeah, motherfucker, you can produce a Tiger Woods, a Michael Jackson. Yeah. That's what it takes. Yeah, now do that step again, uh, Michael. A Serena Williams. Rest motherfuckers, watch. <laughs> <laughs> Till we get this shit. Tell everybody's like this little motherfucker. <laughs> Bring Randy in here. I high chair my ass. Bring him in here. Oh, shit. Get it too. Put the goddamn coloring books there. That's Joe. Cool. That's what it right, takes. Yeah. That black pops. Yeah, Serena and Venus. Serena? Shit. And Venus. <gasps> hold on, hold on, hold on. You went to what? You went to what? Tetherball. What the fuck is Tetherball? Listen, ain't gonna be no Tetherball. It's gonna be tennis. Tennis, goddamn it. Tennis. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Stop being so hard on me. Look here. Mm. I'm gonna get shit out of you. Well, I'm just saying, they want a brain hand. Ain't gonna be nothing. Ain't gonna be no brain hand. Ain't gonna be no dead your top shit. There's gonna be tennis, bitches. I'm your daddy. It's tennis. <laughs> I bet you them white girls is playing tennis right now. <laughs> and Venus, <laughs> did I tell you to let me know when your motherfucking racket is getting loose? You think I ain't seen your loose racket dipping and diving? And... Give me that racket. This shit is supposed to be tough. <laughs> now, after y'all get out of this motherfucking bullshit ass Sunday school shit, your mama says you go on. We're gonna practice what? Oh, we're gonna practice when you serving. You got damn right. Sunday serving. Oh, oh stop. Oh my god, you're so stupid. There ain't gonna be no cheating and shit. The white folks gonna cheat. Y'all ain't gonna cheat because they're gonna respect you to cheat. That's how come she was yep. adamant about that exactly. shit. Exactly. She was like, like I, don't I don't cheat. I don't cheat, cheat right? Exactly. I don't cheat. That's why you tell them, baby, because your daddy didn't let you cheat. What's <laughs> in your mouth? I can't cheat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's real. Oh, well, no, that's, that's what it takes. That yeah. kind of parenting, you do that kind of parenting? Yeah. Shit, The Rock too, his big buff ass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, you can lift that, boy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You can't live it. You can't live it. You have some more. You can lift the world. <laughs> Bring this motherfucker some more poor and neck bone. <laughs> They grew up on poi and neck bone. Boy, right, the rock right. is on small. He had yeah, a black he, daddy. Was, he shut the fuck up and get it up on your chest. <laughs> That's how he makes them faces. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He was a fucking bitch at four, 80, eight years old. Yeah. You gonna let your sister out lift you? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 
Okay, so there we go. There we go. Um, all right, what fa do you have a favorite Christmas meal? <laughs> <laughs> it's like if I, or have well, you ever had a really bad Christmas meal? Oh, shit. I didn't have a bad Christmas meal, but I had a motherfucking Christmas meal. You know that Christmas pudding they talk about? Uh-huh. Yeah, that shit ain't oh, what? sweet. Oh. It's not like fucking craft chocolate pudding uh -huh. or some fucking uh, uh, tapio. No, 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 no. Yeah. Christmas pudding is meat pudding, man. Oh, okay. It's not sweet. Uh -huh. It's savory. Uh-huh. And, that you know, and when I was in the Army... They uh that was, this is what was this was one cool ass experience. Oh, All the soldiers in Berlin, you're in Berlin, you way on the other side of the fucking world. Uh -huh. But what they do is they they have a they have Berlin families that want to host okay. a family mm -hmm. dinner with soldiers. Okay. And it's like a big raffle and a drawing. Mm -hmm. And there's families. There's a big dinner where you go and they call out the names. And they call out the family's name and they call out the soldier's name and they all get to meet. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, so I, I went to this, you know, I was, this was my first year in Berlin and they was like, yo, Paul, you should make sure you go do that. There's a good way you'll see the customs of the, of the German people and how they like to do things. And yeah. It's like, all right, I went and it was dope because I had a family and their last name was Fries. Fries. Oh, yes. wow, that's cool. Fries. And it was like, it was cool. I met this family. It was a husband, a wife, a grandmother, and two young daughters, like little kids, like mm -hmm. a baby could barely talk. Mm -hmm. And me being there, not knowing English, was fucking her up. Cause she was, I mean, not knowing German. <laughs> right, right. She was a baby. She was like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you like, I don't know. Hey, I got nothing. So she's thinking, well, damn, I thought I had this talking thing down. I'm like, you do. <laughs> but why but is he not, not responding? They ain't talked to you about language yet. See? <laughs> <laughs> You're coming up out of Google Gaga. <laughs> in German. Yeah, in German, which is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some shit they learn at birth. <laughs> Which is close to the ha ha <laughs> and the Arabs be like the ha ha and the ha ha mimi ha ha mimi ha 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 and the Germans is the you know it's close close it's like a different part right but that shit we don't have that shit over here right we we stopped there ain't no motherfucking hamburger right now hamburger give me hamburger. that double cheese bitch hamburger <laughs> I love that they brilliant. got that shit but this was a family German family. And I went, and um, <laughs> this shit was cool because they had their grandmother, and their grandmother was like, like German, like she was a Berliner when Hitler was alive. Okay, okay, okay. Now, see, this is what a lot of people don't, you know. I was, I saw this shit. Right. This woman was the fact I was an American soldier. She was like, whatever, like you respect, you know, because the Americans. You think when the world was going on, there was a lot of Germans that was just going along to stay the fuck alive. Alive, right. You know, no choice. Matter of fact, the majority of them. Right. And then they uh they fucking were hungry as fuck. Mm -hmm. They Hitler was starving these motherfuckers like, and there will be no eating until we win the war. Like, <laughs> bitch, we're losing. <laughs> badly. Badly. Very badly. <laughs> we went down with this shit. We just we didn't want to, to do this to begin with. <laughs> All I wanted to do is make hot cocoa. <laughs> I did this mom comes with this bullshit. <laughs> These there's a lot of Germans like that. And then don't forget Berlin is where they got, you know, the Berlin Wall, the East Berlin, mm -hmm. West Berlin. So that's a whole nother mm -hmm. dump on them that the communists did. Right. You know, so these people are like they look at she looked at American like she didn't give a fuck about black American, white. No, 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 no. Um, you're an American and because of you. I know a lot of motherfuckers that are alive. Right. That's the right. feeling that yeah. she was mm -hmm. giving me. Mm -hmm. Like, and this is a trip because you see an old woman, you always like want to open the door for her. She's mm -hmm. like, nah, no, I open the door for, for you. you. Wow. Yeah. You know, we're humble. And then, you know, they sing the Christmas tree that, the, the, you oh, know, Oh, Tannenbaum. Oh, Tannenbaum. Oh, Tannenbaum. Tannenbaum. Oh, 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 Tannen
Und draußen wind und draußen weinen und kriegen Wort und streichen gehen. Und blotschen gehen, raus, raus in Baum. Und glauben wir, Frauen da. Und glauben wir, und glauben wir, und kleine Jus dann heil. Oh, yeah. beautiful. I yeah, was singing, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. I was acting like I was singing with him. I was like, how do like, you know the words? words. <laughs> gotcha. But the kids gave me gifts. And they're, the way they celebrate Christmas over there is like they do the 12 days. Okay. Mm -hmm. like it's 12 fucking days. And not all the days are partying. Okay. Some of the days are, not all the days are gifts exchange. Some of the days are meditating and, okay, that's and, good. you know, like just really being thankful for, mm -hmm. you know, really focusing on what you, it was a trip, you mm -hmm. know, so they, they had, a, you know, some gifts for me, little, little uh, pictures that the kids drew. It was oh, that's cool. Very cool. It was cool, you know, uh -huh. and I was happy. I was cool. But then I got back to the barracks and then some motherfuckers like, yo, I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, motherfucker, they gave me this leather coat. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, man, and look, homeboy, <coughs> it was her and her mama. Uh -oh. It was her and her mama. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Oh, what she look like? Shit, what she look <laughs> like? <laughs> it looked like I'm fucking her for the next the, the time I'm here, man. This bitch is paid on the look. She got me a leather coat. <laughs> And you got the freezes. Yeah, I got the freezes. The good family. <laughs> and the pictures. Yeah, but they had fucking meat pie. Oh. They had this. Would, would you like some meat pie? Uh -huh. I was like, meat pie? Mm. Mm. Anything like a meat patty? Yeah. Uh -huh. what, do you, what do you mean meat pie? They always gave me a slice of like some fucking gelatinized fucking like jiggly ass meat, meat? blood uh -huh. pudding meat like Oh. Oh, oh, yeah, back to the whole oh, point, you, the meal. Yeah, yeah, you knew what the fuck this was <laughs> when you said meat pie. You could have said, now, do you want some shit that you probably have never had in your life? And, and will never want again. And you'll never want again. We'll give you a sliver. And then you can say nay because once you taste it, it will be ridiculously horrible. <laughs> Did you taste it? Yeah, I tasted it. I had to. I'm an American soldier. Many hearts and minds. Tough guy, tough the guy. German people. Tough guy. Yeah, I'm up in this motherfucker. I ate that shit. And I looked at them like, let me tell you something. <laughs> Did you eat the whole thing? The kids was looking like... <laughs> the grandmother was like... It's <laughs> Right. And like, we was looking like... And the father was like... <laughs> and the wife was like... Like proud because she made this shit, and I was like, "Oh, damn, man, what you gonna do?" He's <laughs> rich. You gonna have this internal conversation? Yeah, you, I mean, you know, part of me is like, "Look, man, if you eat that and gag, oh, it's, it's worse. It's worse." Okay, you're a soldier. The fuck this taste got to do with nourishment? <laughs> eat that shit. It's about survival, motherfucker. Do it. If you was in combat and you came across this meat pie, how would you eat it? <laughs> <laughs> I wolfed that motherfucker down. I tasted it a little bit, not much. Not much, not much. Afterwards, I was drinking that fucking... I get got on holidays with people in because I'm always down to try somebody's shit. Right, right, right. And that's not like the my worst. Armenian friends. Don't fuck with Armenians on Easter. Right. Yeah, because they got a little shit they eat too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. buttermilk. Yeah, and some fucking some uh, like like some other shit. Some fucking shit that looks like rugula, but it ain't rugula. Oh. It's uh, what is that shit? Not tout. Oh, um some shit. Oh, I know. Wait, I know. Eat it on Easter. Okay, wait, I think I know what you're talking about. But uh, I gotta find anyway, it. Anyway, this that meat pie was like you got to be European to like that shit, I think. I think that's one thing that uh, Americans said. Mm -hmm. Look here, another thing. Ain't going to be no meat pie on any parts of this here land. <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> You're caught serving meat pie, you will be hung by the skull. Uh. 
I'm trying to find it. Yeah, meat pie. They meat eat pie. that shit in uh in uh Australia. They eat, the, they eat that shit too. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, because you know Australia. That's another big ass colony of Britain. It's always the lack of flavor. I mean, seasoning, and it just seems uh, like they, why they, is that? You know, because I guess when they started their recipes, motherfuckers didn't have sea routes open up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, India, what well, do you mean by yeah. flavor? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. What is that? They weren't getting the spices from India right. yet. Spices, <laughs> you know, meanwhile, the fucking Italians In over there. Hey, Chibale, hey, Chibale, hey, Chibale. <laughs> Doing all of that shit. Right. Hey, Chibale, hey, they was eating right. lovely. Africa, they was eating lovely. They had spice, motherfucker. And they had salt. They had salt. Oh, shit. <laughs> you like, yeah, yeah. It makes me salt was like, like money. It. Like, I promise you, that if they could put one of them meat pies... Take that motherfucker down there to motherfucking New Orleans. Yeah, okay. Give now it we're to talking. them Creoles. <laughs> oh, we're going to put some onion, pepper in this heavy pack. <laughs> right, yeah. Ooh, that's going to be giving that down. <laughs> pack, pack, whatever. They some pepper. cayenne. Some cayenne. Cayenne pepper. Ooh, cayenne pepper. This hit me pack. going to be good for you. And motherfuckers will get it Ooh. right. I promise you. Then, then motherfuckers be flocking uh-huh. to eat meat pie. Uh-huh. But just in this raw motherfucking These European raw state. Not, not yeah, good. they didn't get much fucking uh, flavor and shit what up in Germany. Meat, pie? The, meat, it's meat beaten to a fucking pulp to where it's like whipped up. Is that like, like mutton a, or like mutton or, or whatever, it's, it's like, whatever uh, that is? And there's British know. motherfuckers Let's that eat that shit watching this shit. Right? I'm very full. <laughs> If Freeze only knew how fucking tasty this was. Okay, here we go. I eat meat pie and porridge. (laughs) Okay, it says it's uh, usually eaten cold and consists of a thick and crumbly hot water crust pastry encasing it was a a pork, a pork filling. Oh! (laughs) Oh, That's like pork. Oh, now you see, look at that. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, maybe yours didn't have pork in it, but or I don't know. But it says pork. I, don't I know. just ate it and went on with it. Went on. You you soldiered that yeah, shit. Yeah, it was like you know, <laughs> I was like, oh, don't yeah. get shot. All right. This other th- definition says meat. The meat in your meat pie doesn't have to be beef. Oh, okay. So yeah. it could be meat, muscle from buffalo, camel, cattle, deer, goat, There's hare, pig, poultry, or pie. sheep. Um, right. So there you go. So it could have you could have been uh, eating. Guess what? What? It was sheep? Because I remember them saying that. Was it? It's okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Yes. Yeah, sheep, sheep meat. Yeah. Oh. I remember it was sheep. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Hey, but Germans don't get it twisted. They do got good some good shit over there, like um schnitzel. Um schnitzel. Or what? Schnitzel. Oh, the schnitzel. And pumfrits. Pumfrits. That's French Fri- fries. French fries. But they, yeah. They eat French fries with mayonnaise and and ketchup. Oh. It okay, sounds that's nasty No, but, but people are like, Race puts to... mayonnaise and ketchup on his hamburgers. Yeah, so. yeah, but they do it on the fries and yeah. you can get fat fucking around on bread. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> this would is you true. like a schnitzel mit brunchen mit un half a hinchen? You know what that is? Half a hinchen. chicken. Half a chicken. Half a hinchen is half a chicken. What they do with that is they take a roasted chicken, right, on a rotisserie, bow, pop that motherfucker in half, right? This shit is cooked, like crispy and all that. Then they put it in a bag with some motherfucking, like some paprika mm-hmm. and uh, fucking like some Lowry's. I think it's <laughs> Lowry's. <laughs> like, they got, they got, that's the secret. Shake they, that motherfucker. <laughs> and here is a half a hinchin. <laughs> you get that motherfucker for five marks. Uh-huh. And then they give you a motherfucker. Mit mit Pomfritz, bitte. Yeah, yeah, ja, ja, mit Pomfritz. <laughs> und Katzup in Mayonnaise, bitte. That's what we catch up in mayonnaise, please. Uh, uh-huh. And then what they do with that is they take a cone of the paper, and they make oh, that yeah. shit mm-hmm. like a big cone and just some bomb-ass fries, put that shit, and they hit it with the paprika and the motherfucking Lowry's. And we eat the Lowry's. Yeah. Yeah. Lowry's. And then they put a motherfucking dollop of motherfucking mayo and a dollop of the, the ketchup, ketchup is different. Oh, okay. Ketchup. But so that's seasoning. They season yeah, that. that, that, that well, was... They knew that much, but don't forget, the motherfuckers that's doing this is probably some, some like gypsy or some some shit. Of, yeah, 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 like right. the Turkey, right. Turkish, you know, it ain't the... It ain't the, the straight British. But there be a couple of, you know, some of them British motherfuckers look just like the English motherfuckers. They got that apple face, <laughs> you know. <laughs> apple face. <laughs> 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 Good morning. Good morning. Are you from England? <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> By way of ancestry. How's it been, Whatever it is. 
what you say. <laughs> but then they, and then they got the bratwurst, which is a yeah. motherfucking the bratwurst is they make them shits bomb and they give you meat uh meat broaching bitter uh. with bread broaching. And the bread is like a little ass fucking hard roll. It's just basically to hold the motherfucking bratwurst that's hanging out. So uh -huh. they, they bust that shit, but they chop that shit up for you uh -huh. and put the motherfucking ketchup on that bitch with some kind of sauce and a little one of the paper things. And they give you a little fork. Man, Go to and town. You get that shit with the Fanta. Orange Fanta? Y'all Yeah, orange Fanta? That's the shit. That's the shit. Okay. Well, there we go. We have our German, um, our oh, German but food tips. To answer your question, my favorite meal yeah. is what my wife is about to get busy with. What? She cooks a bomb ass, um, like, like a bomb pasta. Mm -hmm. For Christmas, oh. just cause she's cooking. I'm having my whole family over. Oh yeah, like throwing down. Okay, we got greens. You know, it's all healthy. It's traditional. Yeah, yeah. And we, she knows how to take healthy shit and make it like the shit Taste that's good. not healthy. Healthy doesn't have to be not healthy. tasty. I mean, not you exactly. can do. Yeah, you got, there's yeah. plenty of spice. You just gotta fuck with the spices. Exactly. A lot of people don't fuck with spices. Right. They only fuck with Lowry's. Yes, yeah. Because Lowry's does make everything taste good, but. Right. Lowry, Lowry's will bust your fucking heart. It's yeah. gonna make his heart taste yeah. tasty too. Yeah. To the earthworm. Yeah. <laughs> it's an earthworm. Uh, earthworm. <laughs> this motherfucker was killing it with the Lowry's. He's a killer Tell with the that. Uh, Come eat this uh, motherfucker. <laughs> so Lowry's eating motherfuckers. So do you have a health tip? Yes. Yeah. Okay, wait. This is what I recommend. It's is it, it's if it's cool, do it outside. But if not, do it. Anywhere, even if it's in your fucking office, there's a place you can go. Just sit on your back with your with your knees bent mm -hmm. and just sit for at least if you can get it to where you do that 15 minutes a day. Okay. It does it, man. What it's, it so it, it helps it your circulation. Your, it, oh, okay. Okay. It realigns your spine oh. to your head. It's on the floor and it has the weight of your body uh -huh. pushing it down. down. It's, it's kind of like, it's like uh, resetting everything. Do you bring your knees up to your chest or just, no, just bring them just up? Just bring them up. So that your back straightens so out. your back is straight uh -huh. and just kick it. Yeah. For like 15 minutes. If yeah. you do that for 15 minutes, it works wonders with your posture with standing up. Excellent. Let your and weight bring you down. Yeah, let your weight bring you down. Let's okay. just, just relax in that position. But mm -hmm. do it for a solid 15 minutes. Okay. Give it, don't, you don't have to do more. Right. 15 is great. Yeah. And if you do that consistently every day, mm -hmm. watch the difference in a week. Wow. It's okay. real simple. This is my, my brother used to tell me this, and I used to like, yeah, whatever. But then I start, you know, as I'm, you know, at the age I'm at, mm -hmm. start remembering you be looking for anything. <laughs> what was it? What was it? <laughs> <laughs> it's it just like, you know, like, lay down, lay down. <laughs> Like, what's gonna it, make me feel better? I heard. Yeah, then I started doing it because my shit is fucked up. Man. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, well, fuck, you be in the army, you walk with 110 pounds on your back through no path. Now, I walk. I was yeah. in the infantry unit. Yeah. I yeah. did too much walking. Like, walking you're not fucking made to do. Yeah, exactly. The fuck walks 54 miles uh -huh. with 110 pounds. That's some dumb shit. Yeah, know? right. You don't even do that in combat. <laughs> Every, in combat, you probably take a nigga's car. <laughs> <laughs> it's combat. It's combat. Taking a car, then a car. You don't want to be in a car, I don't know. But that was too much. In yeah. Germany in the winter. Right. That shit has a toll on your ass. Okay. So that's a good tip. That's a good tip. And that yeah. brings us to the end of episode 109. We will announce the winner of the t shirt next week. Yes, we will yeah. announce. We have the thousandth person. We're um, going to announce that you know, and we're going to get them a t shirt. Contact you. Yes. We got a, yes. a fuck them t shirt we're coming to Right too. on, right on. One love. And keep watching. Yes. Keep subscribing. Thank you. Tell your friends. Share it. Tell your friends. And tell your enemies, <laughs> all the motherfuckers come kick you with Big Freeze. What? Big Freeze and Linda Race and motherfucking Eric Brown. <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> whatever. Freeze down. Freeze talk. What? what? Freeze, freeze talk. talk. Oh, freeze, freeze talk. talk. Oh, what?